Hello friends, I'm Parwes and this is our 26th video in uh, Python 3 Programming Basics. Uh, in the previous video, we have learned uh, that uh, how you can write uh, to a file in Python using Python file handling. Now, in this video, we are going to start our Python 3 database programming. And particularly uh, in this video, I want to show you that how you can connect your Python to MySQL database. Now, uh, before this, uh, you need to install MySQL client because we are using MySQL client for uh, database programming. Now, you can install uh, through pip install MySQL client. Uh, so uh, this will work, but sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, if uh, it doesn't work for you, you can install this uh, through this uh, uh, common pep install only binary and I will add uh, this to the video description uh, you can check that now after uh, installing this uh, also you need a WAMP server uh, because I'm using WAMP server this is my WAMP server now I'm going to create a database in here so click on new and uh, I want so DB test and I don't want to add any table for this now create now database has been created successfully and for right now there is no table in our DB test after this open your PyCharm ID now we need to import so import uh, MySQL DB as MDB now I'm going to create some uh, variables in here so db name my db name is uh, db test and I have uh, db host so this is uh, local host and also db pass so I don't have any password for my database and also db user now the user is root okay uh, after this now we are going to create a try a catch block so try now let me create a db mdb dot connect and in here you need to add your uh, first you need to add your host so it is a db host and after you need to add your user so db user uh, db password and the last one is db name okay and after this we need to just print a uh, database connected successfully okay after this let me give the uh, accept so accept mdb dot error as e okay now you can print database not connected success fully and plus e okay now this is uh, my code and let me just run this okay now you can see the database connected successfully because we are running web server and this is my web server and we have a mdb test database but if I change this for example like this uh, I don't have this database uh, in my web server let me now run this now you can see that we have uh, received uh, this because uh, we don't have any database you can see database not connected successfully and it printed for us now let me just uh, remove this E and run this and yeah now you can see the database not connected successfully now if I make it DB test and if I run this database connected successfully 
so thank you guys uh if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel and also like the video